mosquito. Hi, Crab. What's that thing you're wearing? Some kind of weird new fashion? No, it's just my new home. Do you like it? Hmm, a bit eclectic. What was wrong with the one you had before? Meh, nothing. But I heard the humans find these things a little bit creepy. They think I am confused and I cannot find a better house. So I decided to play a trick to them. Humans are weird. They think I'm not even aware that I live in a lab. I'm just fine with it as long as they feed me. They feel me some tasty blood too. So I was inspired to do this uh, um, uh, short animation by these two guys. Uh, one is a hermit crab uh, who um, decided, or at some point was was viewed um, on the beach somewhere uh, in the Pacific um, Islands, uh, going around uh, with a plastic. Uh, doll head instead of his uh, uh, normal shell. And this guy is a mo genetically modified mosquito uh, who is being fabricated as we speak in a lab in London. But this guy is a very big traveler. Uh, usually mosquitoes only have a range of uh, like a few uh, hundred meters, uh, but this guy traveled many thousands miles. Uh, my um, a project uh, is researching uh, new forms of life and whether or not uh, we should be speaking of uh, genetically modified um, organisms or organisms that are being fabricated in labs or organisms that adapt themselves to uh, new uh, environmental changes, new species. So uh, around, so uh, the hermit crab, uh, the video that appeared uh, in 2009 um, came with a series of comments and the comments uh, basically denied his agency. So basically the reason why he was acquiring and adopting this head was because he needed to, because he couldn't find any other shells, because all oh, the humans are so bad that they collected them all and so he, he was left without it. So basically the humans were the makers of the uh, real estate uh, um, crisis for this poor crab. The second one is genetic modified mosquito. So I went to this uh, uh, laboratory in uh, Italy, uh, in Terni, there's this uh, G, um, um, GGB polo, uh, where mosquitoes are shipped from London, which is uh, an imperial college, which is the place where uh, the mosquitoes are fabricated and are genetically modified. Um, and in Terni they are bred and mated with other mosquitoes. Now, uh, these mosquitoes are coming from uh, uh, original um, model organism from the 70s and they've been going through generations and generations and generations, so they've been living in captivity. But they've been traveling a lot because from uh, London they are shipped by mail to um, uh, Terni and then in Terni once the, uh, uh, the experiment is done, will be shipped again to Burkina Faso, which is where they want to release them. And uh, we still don't know whether they will survive or not, these poor guys, because they are supposed to uh, diminish the population of the mosquitoes there. I'm not sure the local mosquitoes would like them. So, and I don't want to, um, I don't have any intention to diminish the significance of the climate change and uh, the ethics and the uh, uh, careless patterns of uh, human activity. Um, as we take note of the bizarre new appearance of the crab, we acknowledge the existence of an organism that is still the same species, but is also something else altogether, because it has a new home. Uh, so in adopting or adapting to uh, the doll head as uh, uh, his own. The crab uh, becomes simultaneously nature and artifice, reality and fiction. It speaks to planetary transformations uh, in the Anthropocene and to an unexpected resilience and ingenious behavior. Uh, and the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes are also nature and artifice. They, have, they are being genetically modified 
um, they promise, but maybe not, um, to bring unexpected or unintended uh, environmental changes. We don't know because it's too early. They are kind of semi-fictional uh, characters. So in their um, natural state, they are considered among the most dangerous organisms, so killing people by the million if infected with the malaria plasmodium. But the mutation is making them some kind of saviors now. So these are not unimportant details to consider in um, um, in a mosquito, in a species that, uh, according to the scientists in the lab, are still mosquitoes. The same mosquitoes that they, they start from, like the mosquitoes from the 70s. Are these uh, new species? They are not. What are the criteria that we should be uh, using in order to um, consider them queer, or consider them normal, or consider them old or new?